What's up, folks? This is your boy, Darko. Welcome to another edition of Kindles and Kicks. First of all, before I get started, I want to say Happy Black History Month to all the readers and booktubers out there. Secondly, this is going to just be a very brief recap of everything I read in January and what I thought about it. I read four books in January. The first being A War and Ruin by Ryan Cahill, which is the third full-length novel in his Bound and Broken series. I can't say too much about Honestly, I can't say anything about A War and Ruin without spoiling the books preceding it. A War and Ruin just expands on what's already great about the series. Ryan Cahill was easily becoming a new favorite author of mine. He is great at putting a modern spin on classic fantasy tropes. A lot of people compare him to John Gwynn. I personally think he has become a better writer than John Gwynn, especially in this last book. However, I will say I've only read the first book in The Faithful and The Fallen, and anyone who I've spoken to about it says the books, the books get better as you go along in the series. So maybe I need to revisit John Gwynn before I confirm my opinion on him compared to Ryan Cahill. In any case, A War and Ruin was a fantastic book and truly epic. It spans 1,400 pages. It took me quite a while to read, but I enjoyed every single minute of it. Speaking of Bound and Broken, um, the second book I read in January was The Ice, which is the third novella in the series. And it follows one of the central protagonists of Bound and Broken, a character named Asen, which you can either love and hate. Um, I go back and forth with him, but this book to me made him a more sympathetic character by providing more backstory and more history on his intentions and why he's so hyper focused and so willing to make so willing to make sacrifices to accomplish his goal. After The Ice, I read Children of Time by Adrian Tchaikovsky, which was a buddy read with Matt over at Matt's Book Reviews. And this was a science fiction novel and the first I've ever read by Adrian Tchaikovsky. And I was thoroughly impressed, um, particularly in how it not only approached terraforming and colonization, but just evolutionary biology and how we overlook the intelligence of other species outside of our own. It was handled really well. Adrian Tchaikovsky is a brilliant writer. Um, the only downside to the novel to me was the non-human characters weren't as compelling. Um, I'm sorry, the human characters weren't as compelling as the non-human characters. I encourage anyone who is interested in a very different approach to science fiction and space colonization in evolution to check out Children of Time. The last book I read was Grace of Kings by Kenley Yu. I actually finished it on January 31st. This is the first book in his Dandelion Dynasty. I just really enjoyed this through and through. I did have trouble in the beginning um, getting used to his, his use of multi-POVs and little vignettes and omni-POV, actually. There was a uh, odd structure to a fantasy novel, one in which I've never encountered. However, the world and the story and the characters immediately draw you in. And now I'm on the second book, which is quite different from the first. The first book is a huge 500, 600 page setup to the rest of the series. And I've heard nothing but great things about the series overall. And so I look forward to continuing it with Wall of Storms and the rest throughout February. So that is what I read through the month of January. Each book outside of Grace of Kings, I gave five stars on Goodreads. I gave Grace of Kings 
four stars only because of the struggle I had getting into it in the beginning. All the books are rewarding reads and I encourage everyone to check them out. Now in February, there are two books I'm actually already reading. As you know, I'm reading Wall of Storms, which is miles better than Grace of Kings, in my opinion. It's weird. It's like there's a trend among authors where their first book is it's pretty good and sometimes even great, but nothing compared to the rest of the books following it. Like you saw that with Red Rising Saga. You know, the first book is okay and it's good and maybe even great to some people, but it doesn't compare to the to the rest of the books in the series. Same thing with Christopher Ruacchio's Sun Eater series, Empire of Silence, Silence, while well, great. Just, you know, it's not as good as the rest of the books in the series. And, you know, that's okay with me. I love when a series gets progressively better as you read. It, to me, makes the reading experience far more rewarding and motivates you to continue on. So Wall of Storms, so far, extremely enjoyable read. I'm also reading, along with Britson, aka Samoki Dude, Kindred by Octavia E. Butler. So for Black History Month, I wanted to read at least one Black author that I had never read before. And Octavia E. Butler came to mind because I've heard nothing but great things about her. And fans of her and other booktubers who have read her her works suggested to start with Kindred. So, um, so far, really, really enjoying it. It is one of the most emotionally evocative stories I've ever read. The way it blends science fiction and historical fiction so well is unlike anything I've ever read. The way it handles the brutality of slavery and how us today would handle it if we were forced to go back to that time period. One of the most brutal, if not the most brutal time in American history and have to face the same challenges our ancestors did. Will we be able to deal with it? And if so, how successful would we be at it? So compelling, unique story, great character development. Can't wait to see how it all ends. Outside of those two books, I will be continuing, continuing with The Dandelion Dynasty. And then I will also be reading Songs of Albon. I believe that is the title by Guy Gabriel K. I've heard nothing but wonderful things about GGK. And this book um, moved up on my TBR because Red Fairy Books rated it as their best book of 2023, ahead of so many other great novels in the BookTube community. So I really want to see not only what is so great about GGK, but what is so wonderful about this book because that is a booktuber who whose opinion I respect tremendously. Outside of that, I'm not sure because sometimes I'm very much a mood reader, so I don't have a strict TBR most most of the most of the time. So I like to leave room just in case the wind blows me another way and I want to check out something else. Now Let's talk about the Super Bowl. You know, it's Super Bowl season. I would be remiss if I didn't touch on it, especially being a football fan. I am going for the Niners. I really hope they pull it off. I am a Cowboys fan, but I have to support my NFC brothers. I'm upset that the Packers destroyed my team and eliminated our chances of making it to the Super Bowl, but I'm I'm always happy you know, whoever makes it in my division. So more power to the Niners. I really hope that you um, come out as the winners and you get another championship for the NFC. Other plans for February. I do want to post more sneaker content. Um, I didn't get a chance to do much of that in January. I had just set up my channel. I was very much still learning. I also didn't really buy any sneakers because it was post holiday season. I figured I'd already spent enough money on other things. So hopefully in February, I'll get a chance to, if not buy some sneakers, at least cover sneaker news uh, for those of you who are interested. So look forward to that. I have been toying with the idea of doing individual book reviews, but I'm not sure. 
I think I just may do an individual book review if the book I read just touches me in such a profound way that I have to speak about it and dedicate an entire video to it. I haven't quite made a final decision on that, but we'll see. Hopefully I will continue to make content that people like to watch and I will continue to learn and grow and get more involved in the booktube community who is so welcoming and have embraced me and, and encouraged me and supported me. And so I will definitely be continuing on this journey and look forward to meeting new people and learning new ideas for content. In any case, thank you for watching this video. This is Darko, Kindles and Kicks. Like, subscribe, comment. See you next time. Peace. Hello. This is Kayla.